friends. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hello, dear friends. Greetings to you all in the mighty name of our dear Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I am so excited to bring his word unto you all on this Sunday morning. So this is the Lord's message on the Lord's day. Hallelujah. I am so glad to receive his word and to scatter and to sow into your hearts and into your lives or into your ministries that wherever you live i don't know whether you are living in asia in africa south africa in north america south america europe antarctica australia any continent any corner of this globe we have a global calling to bring his word unto you all. God shall come unto you. God is coming unto you at your doorstep with his word, his voice through this media. My accent could not be like the American or the Western countries accent, whatever the language, English, that I have learned is by making fasting prayers and waiting on the Lord. I ask God to give me this gift to speak His word, preach the gospel, teach the word, and I got it. So, if my language would be uh, a, in a different dialect, please pardon me. But ask the Holy Spirit to give you the full meaning of this entire message. And I trust God, I believe God, that the Lord will help you all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Today, I was praying and thinking on receiving the Lord's voice, word. And the Lord has led me into the book of 1 Kings, 19th chapter. In the Holy Bible, there I found one word. And uh, of course, we will read two words in the book of 1 Kings, 19th chapter, verse 7 and 8. And the, and the angel of the Lord came again the second time and touched him and said, Arise and eat. Because the journey is too great for thee. And he arose and did eat and drink and went in the strength of that meat forty days and forty nights unto Horeb, the Mount of God. God has sent his angel unto Prophet Eliza. You know, Prophet Eliza was leaving the country and traveling across all of the deserts with the spirit of fear for the words of Jezebel. He wants to keep his life. He wanted to be safe. He wanted to escape from Jezebel. He was so scared of. 
and in his journey he was too much tired let me ask you one question my friend when a man is depressed when a man is tired when a man is disorientation when a man's life is in fear when a man's feeling in cowardice when we decide that have that hopes will no longer be fulfilled what strength or encouragement does that man need how can that person get stronger and continue his journey these are the things that we are going to discuss and god is going to tell us this is the mighty messages of the lord so i want you all to keep your focus interest on this messages of god there was a word that i found in the in the verse 8 first kings one kings the word really in, inspired my heart by the holy spirit the lord's with the lord's inspiration and that word is the strength when a man can get strength for his future journey you know we are passing through the disappointments depression we dismay often we fear often we are tired often we still not getting answers from god for our prayers we were tired we were tired in so many things. we we became faint and so many times we are disappointed discouraged and so many people run away out of their calling they quit their ministries and they left the, the work of the lord work of the gospel so many times there are so many financial challenges in a chosen ministry a chosen life and a anointed life appointed life though the lord knows about everything that what happens in our lives and the lord provides accordingly his riches he knows all our disappointment he knows all our needs he knows all our prayers he knows everything that what happens and in which condition we are living in what chains that we are facing but god shall never leave us nor forsake us we become weak in the flesh in the spirit in the faith often 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 we need strength we need strength to continue our journey in the ministry life to continue in the to be continued in the family life that is why the angel has brought up a message arise and eat and he says that you will surely is too great 
The journey is too great for you. For the means for you. I am reading from KZD. We have to do a lot. We have to go into so many places. And we have to do much work. More work. For God and for God's kingdom. Your challenges, your change, your disappointment, your tiredness, they are the common things that happen in the life of ministry called and chosen life. Remember that one thing is true. Two things I would like to tell here. That we were called and chosen by God. Number two. God shall never leave us nor forsake us. In, in any condition. Even though we are in weak of our faith. Weak of our strength. Weak of our flesh. Weak of our spirit. Well, spiritual life. But God shall never leave us nor forsake us. He is always with us. His presence with us. His, his, his word with us. His, his um, Mighty presence with us. And he arranges the angels. He provides the things for us. He talks to us. He walks with us. All the time. Like Eliza went without leading of the Lord. This is a special occasion in the, in the 19th chapter. And he prayed a worthless prayer. He wants to die. And he is asking God to take his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was totally depressed. He was a mighty prophet who conquered the evil prophets. And God has sent his fire from the heaven to burn, to fire his offering. <laughs> God has proved himself that he is with Prophet Eliza every time. But here when he came to the Lord mountain, God was asking him, Eliza, why you are here and what you are doing here? What are you doing here? Oh. <laughs> he has talked to God so many things. And God knows his pain, his fear, and he, his tiredness. That is why God has sent the meat, the meal. Here, <clears throat> I would like to tell you from the verse of verses. 5 and 6. Uh, and he lay and slept under a juniper tree. Behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. That's the first time the angel came and, uh, and uh, touched him. God touched his life. Fur leading into the next spiritual realms. And he looked and behold, there was a cake baked on the coals. 
had a cruise of water at his head. He did and drink and laid him down again. And the angel of the Lord came in again uh, the second time and touched again him and said, Arise and eat because the journey is too great for me. And he rose. He arose and did eat and drink and went in the street. Then he ate the 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 cake, bake, baked cake on the course and drank the water from the bottle or from uh, the cruiser. He was strengthened. He caught strength. That's the point that the Lord wants to speak to him. Where can we go away out of the presence of the Lord and what we can do? Jesus was telling you, you can't do anything with, with me, without me. You can do nothing without me. In John 15, 7. We, and Apostle Paul was speaking, I can do everything that who strengthens me. That who strengthens me. God is the one that who strengthens our lives. That is what the uh, uh, prophet Isaiah speaks in the chapter of 40 and verse from 29 to 30. He give it power to the faint and to them that have no might he increases strength. Hallelujah. God gives the power or the strength to the fainty people. And he increases the strength that have no mind means that those who are weak That is our God. That is our God. Even the youth shall faint and be weary and the young men shall utterly fall. But they, but they, that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, renew their strength. Those who wait upon the Lord. They shall mount up the wings as eagles. They shall run there and they and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. That is God that who strengthens and gives the power, who strengthens that have no might. So our, our power, our strength is our God. And then the power and the strength comes from God. <laughs> even the life, yeah, the, even the life come, comes from God. Hallelujah. Let me speak to you here about two things. Here. He gave the big cake on the course. I mean, sir, the, the, the cake was baked on the course and fired on the course. And he gave the water. You mean the fiery food and the water. The Lord gave unto him through the angels. Hallelujah. So, 
what for the big K stands for. Here in the book of Psalm, Torah Psalm, verse 6 says, the words of the Lord are pure, pure words as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. <laughs> the words of the Lord purified seven times like the silver tried in the furnace of the earth. The fiery foot stands for the word of They were pure, are holy. They were purified like silver seven times in the four days of the end. Symbolically stands for the word of God. Angel gave him the word to eat. And the water bottle, okay, and the water. The same Isaiah speaks that the word of the Lord shall come from the heaven, shall like a rain and dew of the heaven. That was the word that accomplished his purpose and sprout in the human lives. So the water and the cake stands for the word of God. In the beginning there was the world. The world was with God. And the world was God. Is God. Dwelt among us. Manifested in the human flesh. The word is the Lord. The word is Jesus. And the angels has brought the word of the Lord of Jesus unto the prophet Eliza, and he ate that word. And the Lord has told, I came down, I come down from the heaven, I am the living bread. They shall not die that those who eat me. And drink my blood. Eat my flesh and drink my blood. They shall raise again, they live again, though they die. It does mean they don't house the death. And Jesus has answered unto the demon and the devil and the sad and to the sad end. The man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that which comes out of the mouth of the Lord. Matthew 4, 4. A man has life in the word of the Lord. A man has life. A man has the power, a man has the strength in the word of God. That is what the Apostle Paul speaks in, the, in Hebrews 4.12. For the word of God is quick.
and he is discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. The word of God is quick. The word of God is alive. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is sharp. Sharper than any two edge. The word of God is sharp. The angels gave him the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Jesus. Man shall live by the word of the Lord. Man shall get power or strength by the word of the Lord. Because the word of God is powerful. And in the book of Acts 7, verse 53, Who have received the law? By the disposition of angels. <laughs> and have not cut it. You people. Hello. Everyone. Listen to this. We are. You all have received. The word of the Lord. By the disposition of angels. <laughs> the angels has brought the word, the law. That's why the angels has declared Christ is born in the city of the David. That's the message of the Lord. That's the word of the Lord. He is Christ and the Lord. They declare because they have seen the word manifestation in the human flesh. And Mary was strengthened by the power of that word. That the word was growing and giving strength to her flesh. And you, if you, they kept not the law, the word of God. One day, I will conclude this session with this testimony. In this month, I went to a doctor, homeo doctor, and when she saw me, she found the glory of the Lord, and uh, she was telling that you are a man of happiness, and we see that happiness in your face. Listen to this. We are not well established by finances right now. Though we are spiritually sustaining in the Lord. And we are living by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Still, we have been facing the challenges, the financial challenges, the physical challenges the material challenges and uh, and the, the spiritual challenges, the change in our lives. Over 23 years in the full-time ministry, but we are not weak in the flesh. We are not weak in the spiritual life. We are not weak in the faith. Though we face all these challenges, people still look at us and find the power of the Lord, the strength of the Lord, the, the gladness of the Lord, the presence of the Lord, the, 
the anointing of the Lord, the glory of the Lord. And secondly, after a week or 10 days of that statement by the doctor, Oh, one, one man of God has come to visit me from Vishakhapatnam city. And uh, he has another brother with him. So I, I went and met them, excuse me, in a hotel for breakfast, for morning tiffin. And we sat together and talking together. They were they were telling me that Kumar still looked like anxious and active, strained, and powerful. I said, they know me that I am not powerful financially. <laughs> but well, I started still it. I'm waiting on the Lord for that. We need a breakthrough in finances. We need a breakthrough in our spiritual life. We need a breakthrough in our ministry work. We want to use every single power for advancing the gospel and to reach the nations globally with the gospel preaching, teaching the world and, and healing the sick people and feeding the poor in India, planting churches, our goal is to reach one billion souls with the gospel of Jesus Christ in India and plant 200 churches in India. And why we want to reach every nation for preaching the gospel, teaching the world, healing the sick people. That's what the kingdom man did. We have a global vision. But for our India, we want to reach out a billion souls because India is 1.7 billion populated nation. You will see symbolically, uh, numerically, that you will find that India is 1.4 billion people, but that is not true. That is the numerical, um, that is the numerical uh, uh, evidence, but we are more than 1.7 billion people. I'm receiving calls from different people around India or something like that. Uh, we want, uh, we want to, We want to talk to them after this message, okay? Praise Jesus. Friends, listen to this. I gave only one answer unto them. That my strength is my God's word. Hallelujah. My strength is my God's word. I read this world every day, each day, and I pray to God. I kneel down before God. I pray in the Spirit in my daily walk, though I walk, though I drive, though I travel, sometimes in sleep, my soul speaks to God. I speak in tongues. I memorize the word. I remember the word. I pray accordingly to the word. I use the word in prayer. I remember God's promises. That keeps me strengthened, stronger, powerful. Because God's word is quick and powerful. 
So I, I got strengthened by the word of God. And they said, the past, the man of God, the man of God agreed with that. Agreed with that. The doctor come to know that the, my, my, my secret, my power, my strength is my God's word. She was a heathen, a, a non-Christian. And she said, aha, uh -huh, oh, okay. <laughs> When you are weak, my friend, God is ready to strengthen you. God is ready to give you strength. God is ready to increase your strength. Say this. I am stronger than I am weak. When, when I was weak. I am stronger when I was weak. This is our policy because God strengthens us. God gives us the power. God increases our strength. Like he increased the strength and gave strength unto the prophet Eliza and he traveled. He went in the same power of that meal for 40 days and 40 nights. His journey is too great. And get ready, get strength, get power by the word for your great journey ahead of you. God is ready to give you the power and the strength and receive it by reading the word each day, keeping his decrees, law, the word of the Lord and memorize the word of the Lord. Pray accordingly to the word of the Lord and you will be strengthened. You will receive the power and by that power you will go for the rest of the work that what God has already kept for you. That what God desire for you to do to complete your assignments in the in the coming future get ready be powerful get power by the word in the word and he went in the power of that meal that was our food our daily bread Jesus has taught unto his disciples. Give us our daily bread. Hallelujah. So my friends, the word of the Lord is our food. That is the food of the angels who has brought, prepared for Prepared by the angels, brought by angels, dispositioned by angels, and gave to the chosen men, appointed men, anointed men, called and chosen ministers of God, and to any believers that who believes in the Lord Jesus, to any saint, to any Christian, any believer in the body of the Lord, that was the food for us. That is the food for us. The big cake. The big cake. The fired food. The purified food. The pure meal. The pure meat. The holy meat. The, the, the meat of the plan and purpose of God. God wants to manifest his purpose. God wants to show his word into your heart, into your ministry life, into your family, into your children's life. He wants to show his word. He wants to send his word. He's raining upon you. 
through this, through his mighty word, through his mighty message. There was written word and revealed word and preached word, teach the word, purify word, strength for our flesh and faith life, spiritual life. Read it, meditate it, walk on it, hear it. Get strengthened and move forward in that power. Hallelujah. May God bless you, my friends. Thanks for listening to this lost message. And we are blessing your family and ministries from India as a chosen and called. Man and woman of God, my wife is cooking now. It is night time here in India. But to some countries, it is midnight, it is daytime. Whatever the time. <laughs> I don't know, but in the world of God, it shows. But this world is for your strength, for your life. Be strengthened by the power of the word of God. Get ready for upcoming work of God. We don't know where God leads us. To which country, to which place, to which village, which town, which city, which continent, which country that God wants us to go and preach the gospel to his work. Get ready. Be prepared. Be powerful. Be strengthened by the word of the Lord. Read it every day and meditate it too, day and night and receive your blessings from God the Almighty. May God bless you, my friends. Love you all. Thanks for hearing. And we wanted you to share this message uh, uh, this, this message either in uh, I don't know where, in which media you get it, either in Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or what, wherever you get this message, please do say, or Instagram, please do say with others, with your friends and family members, to strengthen their spiritual lives, family lives, and everything. We we'll give you. Uh, we give God all the glory and honor and we bless your families and ministries. May God bless you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we speak, speak blessings over your family and ministries. Love you all, my friends. Be blessed. Please do say this message with others and please pray for India. Pray, pray for our, our vision to reach out 1 million souls and planting 200 churches in India and feeding the poor. And uh, we are looking into the establishment with a, uh, we're asking God for a bit of land uh, and we want, we were asking God for a, uh, a worship place, worship building, and the healing center and uh, and your family family quarters. Please pray and prepare for our vision. Want to reach a billion souls with the gospel of Jesus Christ and planting two hundred churches, and feeding poor. If you are led by the Spirit to show your seed in this anointed ministry. We welcome you heartfully in the name of the Lord for reaping the harvest. We welcome you on to show your seeds in Jesus for all generations ministries and in this uh, video we have given our Contact details for prayers for showing the seed. Please use 
those links to obey unto God. And God bless you. Love you all. Please pray for India. Pray for us. And consider partnering with us to advance the gospel for expanding the kingdom of God in India and Asia. Love you all, my friends. More blessings. Thank you. God bless.